Hey everybody, it's John Spale here again. I'll tell you, yesterday was one of the most mind-boggling, mind-blowing days of my life. Uh, I produced, uh, together with my son, my first uh, YouTube video on my own channel on Smale's Pace. And the early days of Smale's Pace 1970, 1975, we went, we went in the house to, from my, from my studio, which is 50 feet away from the house. We went in the house to show my wife and, uh, Trevor Chromecast it onto our TV. And what's that sound? Well, the sound was my propane heater in my uh, new studio and we didn't hear it when we were in the studio uh, in a brief playback. I didn't do many takes. I think I just did two takes and started talking. And so that sound you heard was the heater. So halfway through, it stopped. In the future, it won't be there. And it made me laugh because uh, Trevor said, well, you'll have to redo it. I said, I can't redo it. I mean, it's just... Uh, rambling talking away and I can't recall what I said nor do I wish to redo it so you'll just have to understand that that's what it was but it made me chuckle because uh, at, at Smales Pace when we first opened uh, recall that it used to be a an old uh, ambulance and an old Bell telephone garage which we converted into a coffee house now typically in a garage you know those big rocking blower gas heaters that are in the corner. That's what we inherited with the place and couldn't afford to change it into a radiator system or a, a more of a typical quiet furnace, whether it was a forest air gas or something like that. So for the first um, winter that we were open, we had this big bejumin blower heater in the corner that would make a hell of a lot of noise, a lot more noise than this made in, in my uh, studio here. So <laughs> there was a there was a caveat that uh, went with the musicians that your set couldn't exceed 30 minutes if it was really cold outside because the cold would radiate in through the brick walls because it was all uh, a brick wall building without without insulation as as we know it now. So it was inside brick, outside brick, and um, really funky, you know, wood ceiling and, and all that. But it would, get, it would get cold. And so as soon as the performer got off stage, I'd hit the switch and the thing would kick in and, and the air, hot air would start blowing. And I don't know if anybody ever com commented to me, but, but my brothers and I had lots of laughs with this, this gas blower heater. Over the years, of course, uh, as time went on and it got more sophisticated, got more sophisticated furniture, more sophisticated lighting, etc. But it was all a homemade endeavor. Uh, in fact, my brothers and I used to hang out at the at the city dump and, and see, see what we could find on a Saturday. Uh, happily, as time went on, um, John Allen, the, the famous Canadian fiddle player, who's probably known around the world, was a, was a local boy from just south of uh, London in Port Stanley area, and his parents had a uh, a famous auction house, so I went down there and bought a, a whole bunch of chairs, and they'd be antique chairs now. I mean, they're they were uh, wood press back chairs, one of a kinds, and and there were some you know bent iron uh, metal chairs also, and we. We finally furnished the place with real antique chairs as opposed to the chairs I bought from the school board auction uh, the year before. And uh, that's all part of the, the growing pains of uh, the early days of Smale Space, but it was it's sort of a growing pain <laughs> of, of producing a, uh, a Smale Space memoir YouTube channel uh, with, with heaters going on in the background. So uh, apologies, I don't think that's ever going to happen again. There may be some other interruption like uh, somebody walking in. Hey, hi. In fact, uh, I, f I found this photo 
and um, I'm not very good at this yet. That's a, a photo of the club before we renovated, and you can sort of see the piano on stage in the background and this sort of faux um, uh, roof over the stage. And that's where that big heater unit was. And uh, there, there are an, a, a number of photos. Unfortunately, not a, not a ton of photos from those days. I don't know if we couldn't afford cameras, didn't think this would ever end. We, we didn't archive. We weren't, uh, we weren't like today where everybody takes a picture of, uh, of a dog walking down the street or our kids' first steps. I mean, I've got more photograph, uh, photographs of my son in his first three months than I have of my days at Smales Pace for five years, which, which is unfortunate. Uh, and I always reach out to people and say, well, if you, if you have a photo somewhere hidden in your tickle trunk, uh, send it along. I mean, love to see it, love to, to uh, take part in that. The other thing is, um, as this, and, oh yeah, I'm very pleased to say and, and happy to announce that we've, we've had over 100, 100 visits already in a, in a few hours. So it's, it's reassuring to think that uh, there might be something in this uh, gentle storytelling of events from 49 years ago. It's ah, hold on, ah, 49 years ago. How could that be? But it is 49 years ago. So that's my little apology for the day and to say that thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, I'd love to continue this uh, discussion into uh, the music business, the music scene, uh, songwriters, uh, the artistic scene that we were that we surrounded ourselves with in those days. And I just want to uh, start thinking about other other chapters. Uh, Trevor and I were out in uh, the studio this morning and uh, I pulled out some old old files from file cabinet and and uh, he said there's a story right there there's a story there there's a story there uh, there's a story on your uh, radio show there's a story on the menu uh, etc so those are some of the fun things coming up it won't be all about music and interviews it will be just about uh, a place in time uh, a magical time magical place and we're gonna continue on with that theme so let's, uh, let's have some fun, let's celebrate, and thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye.